Hi, this is Bhakti from Informatica Support. Today we are going to see a quick video on how to configure Kirpos authentication from MDM side. The agenda that we are going to cover in this video is the way to proceed and the configuration that is required from MDM side. The way to proceed is first thing is that you need to create a manually create a file called kirpos.config file. That is k r p file dot config. The file name can be anything. Just give an example here. The application server side, and then we need to configure the kirpos details inside the file, uh, machine details and the domain details for those information. And that file location we need to add in the JVM parameter. Uh, that is hyphen d java dot security dot kirpos dot conf. We need to give the location where this config file exists. This should be added in the JVM startup parameter of any app server, whichever you use. Let's see a quick video on how to configure it. As I mentioned, as a first step, we need to create the file config file here. So here we are given the server information and the kerbos related information. So probably we, we need to get the disk information from your kerbos administrator. And the second step is we need to add this one. This is the, this is the second step. And the third step, as I mentioned. We need to have it in the JVM parameter. It is a JVM screen. Research. Here I have here I have manually added. In case if you didn't add, you need to add this file. Get to Java security get to config equal to the location where the place this file. And once we added this parameter, we need to restart the app server so that the changes will be making effect. So from back end it's done from MDM side. We need to configure the. It's a simple configuration. We need to go to service provider. And add a. Get post authentication. Add a login module. Select get post. So there are three templates get post, Microsoft, and Open LDAP. So I have selected the get post template. Get post name I can give any name. Uh, here, for example, I am giving get post. And the name I am giving as a debug. The value I am giving as two. It's a simple, simple configuration. And now here you can add your get post user. And use check the use of external authentication box. And once you restart your JVM, you should be able to log in. You can refer the KB article 1394023 to know more information on this protocol here. And we would like to hear your feedback and support videos at youtube.com and twitter.com slash infrastructure. Thank you for watching this video. Have a good day.